You want disappointment? How about this one? Try it on for size, right? Despite all the things that I learned growing up, one of the most disappointing things that I learned as an adult human being is that nobody's gonna be there for me when I get home to ask what's for dinner. Like, I can't just go in the kitchen and be like, mom, make me a sandwich. Doesn't work like that. That shit's on you, bud. And trust me when I say that when you move out, you learn really, really quickly just how awful of a cook you are. I mean, you can only eat burnt mac and cheese so many times. In much the same way, if you've never been to a truck show before, then chances are you maybe don't know what to expect. And take it from us, there are a few things that you're probably going to want to know before you head out for the day. I'm Dustin, Dusty.co on Instagram, and in today's video, we're sitting down to go over a few common perceptions at truck shows, and then, you know, maybe what the reality of those is, what you can actually expect if you plan to attend one. Also, stay tuned because at the very end of the video, we're gonna have a few bonus tips, I guess you'd call them, extra pointers, right? Things that you can remember if you're planning to go out to a show for the first time this year. Let's get it. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Thanks for swinging by and checking us out. If you're looking for some inspiration for your build, right? You got a brand new truck and, or new to you truck and you really wanna build it, we got this cool little not so little tool that we call the gallery, which is home to like 100,000 different lifted trucks on all sorts of wheels and tire setups and suspension setups. So you guys can actually see what they look like on your truck. It's, it's incredible. You just go in there and enter your make model and shows you all sorts of stuff. Also, if you're like me and you've been shopping for a new set of wheels for like the last three weeks and you know, you found the perfect set, but you put them in your cart and you just let them sit there because you have commitment issues and that's probably why your eighth grade girlfriend left you, but you know, it's fine, whatever. No sweat, we got you. Right now you can get as low as 0% financing with a firm, which means that you can finish your truck build now and make sure that it's ready for show season because the first show of the year is in like two months. It's coming quick, guys. You guys can check all that out by going to customoffsets.com or just click the link that's down here in the description. I hope you can see my hands. I don't really know where the box is, but you know, it doesn't matter, right? We're just gonna get into it anyway. One of the biggest differences between what you expect out of a truck show and what an actual truck show is like is how the event is laid out logistically, right on a map. I know this one was pretty big for me as my first show was Lifted Truck Nationals. Having never been to a truck show, but having been to a few classic car shows with my dad and my granddad as a kid, you know, I half expected it to take place in some park and have a bunch of classic cars on the pavement on a flat lot and really just look more or less like a Walmart parking lot meet, which no hate to parking lot meets, by the way. We threw a banger down in Florida, you know, when we were in Sarasota just a couple weeks ago at a Applebee's and it was incredible. Justin Fio showed up. Free Diesel was down from Indiana. For some reason, I met him in Florida. It was a little weird. JH Diesel came through. It was just a wicked time. We actually did a whole video on it. You guys can check that out on the Custom Offsets YouTube channel. Now, take Lifted Truck Nationals, for example, right? If you've never been to LTN before, then let me bring you up to speed on it real quick. LTN takes place in Branson, Missouri in September of the year. And for those of you that are from the Northwoods like we are and maybe don't know what Branson is like, let me just, let me just explain it to you for just a moment, right? LTN takes place on an old golf course, which is pretty freaking cool by itself. And naturally being in Missouri, it's extremely hilly. Because of this, there are trucks parked literally all over the place and it makes for some really awesome sights because there's like show trucks parked up and down these hills. And so it's like staggered up and down and you have this like, bleacher effect like when you were in middle school and you did like a concert and you just stood there just don't lock your knees because you'll pass out you know uh but it's pretty cool you have builds that kind of like overshadow each other and it just looks really neat another big one that you may not be expecting when it comes to shows is weather now i get it the last thing you want to do when you're planning for a weekend of fun with your buddies at a truck show is pack a rain jacket because nobody wants to bring a rain jacket because that would imply that it's going to rain and maybe if you just forget it, it won't rain at all. Looking at the weather has saved my ass more than once when it comes to a weekend at a truck show. Take Daytona, for example, right? Sure, June in good old Wisconsin, she gets a little warm, right? Typically, we're upper 70s, low 80s. Humidity is like 85%. It's, it's pretty stuffy, but it's not bad. But not even God himself could have warned us for standing on the hot asphalt at Daytona last year. It was 95 degrees. We didn't bring the right clothes. We didn't bring the right shoes. And we definitely didn't bring enough water to keep anyone alive. 
I remember asking Lawson when he got back how his show was, and he literally just looked at me and said, miserable, and then walked away. On the flip side, Lifted Truck Nationals of 2019 was equally as bad, but for a completely different reason. It had rained the entire week before Lifted Truck Nationals, and by the time we got down there, it was sunny and hot as hell, and the whole grounds was just a swamp, right? Imagine an old golf course with all the hills, all the water just puddled. It was gross, it was humid, and it was nasty. And that's just two examples, right? There's tons of other ones out there. Now for this reason, we recommend checking the weather before you head out, you know, just to ensure that you have the right gear to keep you warm or cool or dry, or most importantly, comfortable when you're hanging out at a truck show for literally the entire weekend. You guys still with me? Good. Drop a comment down below with what the number one thing that you expected to see or do at a truck show was and what the reality of that experience happened to be. But let's say that you wanna take this a step further, right? Let's say that you actually bring your truck to a show for the first time. You spend countless hours in your garage, wrenching on your truck and putting the perfect lift kit in, building your truck how you want it to be built, making it as custom as possible with things like custom fab work, maybe some body work, some time spent painting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And finally, you roll into the show, you get registered, you get taken care of, you get parked, you get ready to go, you hop out of the truck, and you are ready to tell people about all the awesome stuff that you did and all of the hours that you've got to put into this build because it's literally an extension of your personality. Maybe they'll ask about your custom exhaust tip that you built by hand or how you did a complete pie cut and re-weld to do what is arguably the most extreme NorCal mod we've ever seen, right? Or anything like that. Unfortunately, about 95% of the questions that you guys are gonna get are gonna be something along the lines of, yo bro, what size wheels and tires are those? And as disheartening as it may be, it comes from a place of good faith. Naturally, one of the biggest building blocks of a truck build is the wheel and tire setup, which is why people just naturally gravitate towards that question. And it's probably one that you're gonna get asked regarding your truck most often. Plus, for some guys who, you know, maybe are a little bit younger or they're a little bit more shy, it's a really easy way to start up a conversation, you know, and open the door so they can really find out about the build and ask you anything about it. Regardless, if you're going to your first show or if this is your 500th show, chances are there are still things to keep in mind as you make your travel plans, right? If you're looking to go to a new show, one that you've never been to before, a good idea is to check out some of the previous show videos from the event, get a feel for the venue, get a feel for what style of trucks are gonna be there, right? Scraping the Coast is an awesome show, but it maybe isn't the same demographic as what Lifted Truck Nationals is. Check the weather before you head out. Make sure you don't end up looking like a lobster after uh, Daytona like Lawson did last year. And finally, be ready to explain your wheel and tire specs to literally everyone if you plan on bringing your truck to a show. Outside of that, drink lots of water, wear your comfy shoes, and overall, just be ready to kick ass and have an awesome time, meet up with some friends that you haven't seen in a long time, check out some awesome builds, and just enjoy the show. What's one tip that you guys have for going to truck shows? Drop it down in the comment section below, and if you wanna see more custom offsets videos, you guys can check out the link that's right here. I think it's here. Maybe it's, the, the, no, Ryan, Ryan it's, on, it's here, right? It's on this side? It's over, okay, all right, cool. With that, I'm Dust with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.